Former NTSB chairman and National Transportation Safety contributor Mark Rosenker joins us now by phone. Mark, thanks for being with us. So we know that there are these data recorders on board these trains. What kind of information can investigators pull from them? Well, they're going to be very important to the investigation. They're going to let us know exactly how fast that train was moving, if, in fact, the engineer attempted to uh, apply any braking, whether it was an emergency or whether it was its natural braking capability. They'll also have all kinds of performance data specifically about how the train was actually operating. And, Mark, there are two of these boxes that they're searching for, one that rides in the front of the train and one in the back. Is that correct? Well, I do know there is one in the locomotive, but I am not sure about one that's actually on one of the cars. Typically, you find them in the locomotives. So, Mark, walk us through the process, because as we have been reporting, at last word, according to Philadelphia Mayor Michael Nutter, there were still people who were unaccounted for. So how does that impact the work of investigators? Do they have to just wait until, obviously, all of those people who were on board are accounted for, or can they proceed now? No, they'll be proceeding the moment they actually get there. There have been some of the investigators that actually have gotten there from the regional areas. Uh, the actual uh, GO team itself will be arriving uh, together. There'll be uh, a, a uh, investigator in charge who will lead the investigation. A board member will be there to act as a spokesman. There'll be a public affairs officer to help with the media. But the uh, actual investigators themselves will be looking at areas where they have specific expertise, such as track. They'll be looking at the signals. They'll be looking at the uh, equipment itself. They'll be doing maintenance records examinations. They'll be doing uh, track inspection uh, records. They'll uh, do interviews with the crew. They'll do a 72-hour uh, history of the engineer. Uh, they will be interviewing uh, witnesses. They'll look to see if there's any surveillance cameras that may be in the area that could help understand what happened. And also, if the train was equipped with a, uh, a camera itself on, in the uh, dash, uh, that could also uh, add a great deal of information to the investigation. Mark, we're looking at live pictures right now. Seven cars were derailed, as you know. One car is just a mangled mess. And this has suspended um, train service between Philadelphia and Washington, um, Philadelphia and New York, excuse me, one of the busiest in the country. How long could this investigation take? Well, the investigation itself uh, is divided into two phases. First, the on-scene aspect of it. That will be uh, hopefully uh, uh, as quickly as possible. Um, it would seem to me that they want to get the uh, tracks back in order and give it back to Amtrak so that they can get restore, restore their service. But they will not take any shortcuts in order to do that. Uh, they will be documenting the scene as soon as they get there. Uh, they'll also have people as part of this team that will be dealing with family assistance, survival factors, and human factors. Mark, I'm just curious, during your time heading up the NTSB, was this particular section of track out along the Northeast Corridor, does this ring a bell at all? Were there any other incidents along this particular section of track? During the time that I was at the board, we did do a number of Amtrak accidents, but I do not recall any in that specific area. Uh, a number of them were either down south or out west. What does it say to you, Mark, that when we hear eyewitnesses' accounts, they're talking about when the train entered the bend, it started to shake, and then it started to skip off the tracks? Does that look as if speed could be a factor? Everything will remain on the table until they're able to actually understand and begin to peel away the onion, where, in fact, they are able to uh, take the, that particular aspect and say it either was or was not a factor in this accident. All right. Former head of the NTSB, Mark Rosenker, thank you very much for your insight.